Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Are you always insecure about your relationships? Do you need constant reassurance from your partner or loved ones? Attachment theory categorizes the way we act in relationships into three main attachment styles. In today's video, we will be focusing on the anxious attachment style, which according to Mind Body Green is a type of insecure attachment style rooted in a fear of abandonment and insecurity of being underappreciated. The anxiety or insecurities you may feel in your relationship today may be due to an anxious attachment style you developed as a child. Remember, if you find yourself relating to the points we mentioned, be kind to yourself and know that you can always work towards improving your behaviors. With that said, Let's look at the eight signs of an anxious attachment style. Number one, feeling insecure in relationships. Are you always worried about not being good enough for your partner? Does it get in the way of your happiness? A sign of an anxious attachment style is feeling insecure in your relationships. This insecurity may manifest in a number of ways. For instance, you may find yourself very reactive to your partner's words and actions, or find that you need constant reassurance from your partner to feel okay. Number two, looming fear of abandonment. Are you scared that your partner will leave you even when nothing is wrong? This fear of abandonment is pretty common for people with an anxious attachment. It's likely stemming from feelings of abandonment and insecurity about your parents when you were a child. According to Healthline, this fear and worry that your partner will leave you often results in a tendency to become overly dependent on your partner, which may negatively impact your relationship and your emotional well-being. Number three, trust issues. Do you have a hard time trusting your partner? Maybe you find it hard to believe in your partner when they say they won't leave you or when your friends tell you that they truly care about you. Whatever it is, this difficulty to trust others may stem from a combination of feeling insecure about your relationships and fearing that your partner or your friends are going to abandon you in time. If it gets out of hand, this distrust of others may result in losing your relationships. Number four, Clinginess. Have other people called you clingy when it comes to you and your relationships? Maybe you're over-reliant or over-dependent on your friends, family, or partner. Like some of the other signs, clinginess can be a common coping mechanism for fears that come with the anxious attachment style. According to the Attachment Project, people with anxious attachment develop clinginess because they're afraid of being alone. Number five, emotional neediness. Do you always need other people's attention? According to Abby Moore from Mind Body Green, many people with an anxious attachment style are emotionally needy because they did not receive the proper emotional nurturing and security as a child. This emotional neediness may manifest into behaviors where they constantly seek reassurance, soothing, and attention from the people in their life. Number six, harsh reactions to criticism. Are you the type to take criticism to heart? Does it have a strong impact on your self-esteem? While it is not uncommon to be sensitive to criticism, those with an anxious attachment style might view criticism in a more intense manner. Instead of seeing criticism as a way to help you grow, you may take it as a rejection and let it amplify your fears and insecurities, which may ultimately lead to low self-esteem. Number seven, ambivalence towards intimacy. Do you crave intimacy or do you find it overwhelming? Some people with anxious attachment walk this fine line between craving and fearing emotional and physical intimacy. This perception of intimacy may be due to emotional neglect during your childhood. So while you have a deep craving for intimacy, you may not know how to or be comfortable with accepting it. And number eight, feeling unworthy. Do you feel unworthy of love or that you aren't good enough for your relationships? People with an anxious attachment may have low levels of self-esteem and a negatively distorted view of their self-worth. This lack of self-esteem is likely to stem from insecurities and fears of being abandoned or unwanted by your parents or loved ones, which may lead to a belief that you're not worthy enough for your relationships. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the signs of an anxious attachment style. Do you relate to any of the things we've mentioned above? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. 
The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.